make an alliterative Photoshop picture. This is going to be the really fast version. So first you need to find your picture, which if you open in Finder will be in Roscoff Shared. Look on the sidebar here, it's HHMAPLFS01 under Roscoff Shared, and then follow the most logical path to find your folder. Um, then when you find your image, what you're going to want to do is open it with Photoshop. So you can highlight it and go File, Open with Photoshop, um, and that will open your image. Um, now the first thing you're going to need to do when your image opens is unlock your layer. So simply just whoop, double click on your layer. Um, you can rename it if you like, and that'll unlock it and it'll let you edit it. Um, so we discussed earlier there's several tools for selecting areas and deleting them. But the best tool for this job is probably the Magic Wand tool. It works by selecting pixels of similar colors. So if I pick on green, it picks almost all the green. Notice it didn't get all the green here. Um, I'm going to deselect it by hitting Command D and reselect that green. My tolerance is too high. It's getting green and some of the brown too. I'm going to hit Command D, deselect it, lower my tolerance here to 22. See how that works? That works pretty well, it looks like. Delete that, Apple D. I have some cleanup to do here. I'm just going to use my eraser tool and uh, go up here to my tool options, make my brush a little bit bigger, and whoosh, clean it up a little bit. Um, you might want to use the navigator over here, zoom in to different areas, and do a little bit of touch up around the edge. Um, and actually, you should do that, but we're not going to take time right now for this quick one. So now we have our uh, image with the background gone, I can use the move tool and I change this a little bit and uh, I want to find my background. I already saved something to my desktop here. It's a psychedelic picture. Um, I'll just drag this onto the Photoshop icon. It'll open that. Use my move tool, drag this over here. Uh oh, it's too small. What do I need to do? And it's over him. So I'm going to move it underneath him and I'm going to edit, pre-transform the size to make it a little bit bigger. Now this might pixelate a little bit. Um, so I should probably make this not too much bigger. I'll hit return to uh, apply that. And then I will free transform my subject to make him smaller. If you hold down shift when you grab the handle, it'll maintain the proper aspect ratio. Hit return, boom that. Now I'll need to crop it. Go over here, use the crop tool. Boom, bam, I've cropped it. Hit enter. Now I need my text, so to use Click on T, use a horizontal type tool, and um, we'll go psychedelic Peter for this alliterative nickname. Use my move tool. Um, it's a little hard to read. I'm not crazy about that. I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to go up here and warp the text a little bit, uh, give it some arc. I can't see it anymore. Let's bring it down here. I kind of like that. I think I need to make my text a little bit smaller here. Um, so that should work. Um, so now I'm going to use layer styles to play around with the uh, color to make it a little more legible. Um, I think if we do a, I don't know, a bunch of things, maybe a drop shadow, crank up the opacity and the spread, and the distance, that helps a lot. Um, maybe a change the colors. I'll do a color overlay and uh, play around with colors and see what stands out a little more. That stands out pretty good too. I might pick a green from in there. Mm, I kind of like the brighter green. Um, I think that stands out pretty well. Maybe one more thing. I'm going to add a little uh, outer glow here and um, change the spread and size of that. Ooh, I'm going to need a little stroke. So I think that looks okay. Um, so now I need to save this in two different places. I need to save it in your DP folder. Um, if you go File, Save for Web and Devices, it'll bring up this dialog box so you can change the size. This is a pretty big picture. I'll make it a thousand pixels. Apply. So I want to save one copy in your DP folder. So you can access it by going to HTHMAPLFS01. Click on HTHMAPL Student, um, and you will find your um, My Documents account in there. Um, HTHMAPL Student. Um, I can't access it because I'm not a student, but you can navigate to your My DP folder that way. Um, and then you're also going to save a folder in um, Roscoff Shared in the appropriate folder. So it'll be Roscoff Shared 
2015, um, second semester, third period in this case. I make a folder for final works. Great, and then a folder inside there for um, alliterative portraits, Photoshop portraits. Great, so save one in there. Um, and then also, lastly, you'll go to my blog and go to the alliterative Photoshop pick post and copy and paste the URL of your file by clicking here into there and it'll post it to the bottom of my blog. That's it in a nutshell. Good luck.